This theory will contain major plot spoilers for Life is Strange Episode 4 Darkroom, so if you're still waiting to play it or watch the episode, I recommend that you do that first and watch this video later. Episode 4 ends with a truly WTF don't nod moment as Mr. Jefferson injects Max with drugs to impair her senses, then shoots Chloe while Max is powerless to stop him. Then, Max struggles for consciousness in the underground bunker as Mr. Jefferson holds her captive, and we're left with two very important questions. One, how is Max going to escape the bunker? And two, how will Max finally save Chloe and put an end to all this misery? For my thoughts on how Max might escape the bunker, check out my other theory video, link in the description, but this video is about how Max can save Chloe once and for all, and how the person who holds the key to her salvation will be, drumroll please, Warren. Warren's role changes pretty dramatically over the course of the game, going from getting his ass kicked by Nathan in episode 1, to dishing out some pretty brutal punishment to his tormentor in episode 4. Whereas Warren seems like a lovable goofball who is arguably either kinda creepy or maybe just awkward in the first episode, by the end of the fourth he seems totally ready to go to bat for Chloe and Max, and in fact is so set on stopping Nathan Prescott that Max is given the option whether or not to hold him back from brutally beating him. Before Max reunited with Chloe at the beginning of Life is Strange, Warren was actually Max's best friend, and so he is undoubtedly the first person she will seek out once she's free from the bunker and needs to figure out how to stop Jefferson and Prescott. His role in the game is pretty important, and given the fact that Chloe and Max have been hanging out for a couple days, she will likely seek out her old friend as soon as she is free. Amidst all the heavy symbolism with the flickering double moon outside the Vortex Club's end of the world party, Max and Chloe run into Warren, who seems surprisingly intoxicated for having, as he states, about half a beer, but he still has the presence of mind to ask Max for a picture together, since this might be, according to him, actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for posterity. This picture is non-optional, which means it is significant to the plot regardless of the player's choices so far. The double moons could represent multiple timelines, and as one moon flickers out, this seems to foreshadow Chloe's imminent death in this one. We already know that Max can jump through time by traveling in photographs, and if Warren, her best friend aside from Chloe, is the first person she would go to after her bunker escape, it would make sense if she used this picture of her and Warren to travel back in time to right before the party so she can warn the other students about Mr. Jefferson and save Chloe from her fate. Or, you know, actually go to the police or something, since that's what you would do in real life instead of playing detective with your best friend with your magical time travel powers. Since it's already been established, though, that the authority figures in this game are extremely unreliable, especially since the principal and cops are either unaware or unwilling to confront a pedophile ring in their midst, I can see why Max and Chloe haven't gone to the police, but seriously, if you discover something like this in real life, go to the cops. Anyways, Max will jump into Warren's picture, warn Chloe what's about to happen at the party, and hopefully the two of them can thwart Mr. Jefferson and Mr. Prescott and save Chloe Price for good this time. If you liked this video, feel free to check out the rest of the Geek Remix channel where I make Let's Plays with my best friend Mari, and to follow me on Twitter and Tumblr at Geek Remix a lot. Just a quick note from Mari, Stacy writes these on her own. If Stacy's in the video, that means that she wrote it. And I didn't do anything. I didn't help her or anything. This was 100% Stacy's thing. All I do is edit it. So please give her credit. And if anyone's being like, oh, I called that first on blah, like, no, because she told me this theory as we were falling asleep right after we finished the game. So you didn't. Stacy thought of this. It just took me a while to edit this for her. If I'm in the video and I'm talking, that means I wrote that part of the script, or I wrote the whole thing. 